demo day one. I am at work. About to make myself some coffee. That is not going to work. This is my favorite blend. Light roast, not decaf. I put one scoop every single day. It really helps grow my hair, makes my nails strong, makes my skin clear. It's great. So it is officially NaNoWriMo day one. It's 8.35 a.m. and no writing's been done. I am at work and I will be writing this evening. Stay tuned. I'm in touch. With the eyes on a glow, we'll find it hard to sleep tonight. Come on, Teddy. So, this is the reality of what I look like when I write, and I'm not going to get all prettified for you guys. This is what it's really like. I'm wearing my sleep cap. It is currently 10 16 p.m. 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 on NaNoWriMo day one, and I am now just about to start writing. So, I think I'm going to schedule my writing time a little bit earlier because I'm starting to get kind of tired and sleepy but that's also because I only got four hours of sleep last night so that's probably what it is the second I hit my word count goal of 1666 words I'm going straight to sleep I'm exhausted and I have a very long day tomorrow and have to get up very early but I just wanted to make sure I got my words in for this very first day. Definitely don't want to fall behind on day one. Definitely want to get started, especially since I'm pantsing and I have no clue what I'm going to be writing. Uh, that's probably why I'm writing at 10, 17 p.m. because I have been putting it off and procrastinating because I don't know what I'm going to write down. But anywho's, I will catch up with you guys in just a moment and let you know I have completed and reached my word count goal. Stay tuned, and I will show you some clips, too, of the writing software that I will be using this NaNoWriMo. So, first things first, y'all. Project Talk became Project Speak. Not really sure when that happened, but it kind of just happened. It happened about a week or two after I announced Project Talk, and then all of a sudden, I started calling it Project Speak, and it just hasn't gone back to Project Talk. It's now Project Speak. But anyways, come find me on the nano site and let's be buddies! So first things first is to go through the little NaNoWriMo prep that I did back in September when I was in New York. As you can see, I have not updated this document since September 21st, which is when I was in New York. And I was really inspired, so this was my prep. So I'm going to go ahead and basically read through this. I don't know if this will translate over to the story word for word, but at least most of the character names and personalities and the setting should translate over. But I just, you just never know when you're pantsing, you know, you think this was my attempt at like the beginning of an outline. And from my experience, you think the story is going to turn out one way. And then once you actually start writing it, things definitely change up quick. So we'll see. I'm going to read through this and then I'm going to get started. And this NaNoWriMo, I will be using Noveler. I thought about Scrivener. I actually downloaded like a trial, but things just got really complicated really quickly. There are a lot of different ways that you can use Scrivener and, and uh, customize it to your tastes and all of that. And it was giving me anxiety because it was like too many options and it was very just crowded and busy and I, d I didn't find it intuitive to use it all I found it hard to navigate and once I started to you um, search on YouTube 
Scrivener tutorials and how to use Scrivener, that's that's when I knew like I just I'm not ready to use it right now. So I'm just going to be using Noveler and I like the fact that Noveler is a cloud-based software, I believe. So I am going to be using Noveler for this NaNoWriMo and I will just have to attempt Scrivener at a later date. <laughs> Update. I am now at 809 words and I am so tired. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep and I don't know what the fuck type of, type of crap and gibberish that I'm writing right now. But it ain't gonna be any good. I'm probably gonna end up trashing this. But 50,000 words, am I right? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to get to 16666. Or 1666. Help. You guys, I'm so close. So close. <laughs> but I can barely keep my eyes open. Help me. You guys, I'm so proud of myself. I made it to 1,686 words. I'm going to sleep after I take this makeup off. I legit was asleep at one point writing gibberish, so tomorrow has to go better. I will be writing earlier in the day tomorrow. <sighs> Nano day one, down, 11.07 p.m. NaNoWriMo day two and it's this kind of day yes. and then I have a donut in here and I know it's 8 55 a.m. but I need it I need it and of course I'm a coffee as always
and I find it fascinating. But this book is in volumes one and two and it is such an epic saga. So 3 a.m. is kind of painted as the hour of the artists, right? And the lovers. When artists are awake and they're working and they're painting or they're writing or they're working on their art or when lovers are awake doing what lovers do. This epic saga of the streets, we follow Symphony Stewart, 